I grew up learning from my grandmother, grandpa, my mom, and my dad. They really instilled the old way of living. My whole body and my whole soul is connected to this land right here. Our community is very special. It's like going back into time. We are very like an ahupua'a system. We're fishermen, we're hunters, we're farmers. During our chief's reigns, this area was like a bread basket. You know, my grandparents purchased this property from in the second Mahili. There was nobody else to help them. So I spent pretty much all my life in the taro patches. Water is life that runs through each and every one of us, no matter where we are on, on earth. Our water is one of our most precious things in our community because that is our source of food. We still get our water flowing from Mauka up mountain, down to Makai, down to the ocean. It's not just about the taro patches, the word kuleana. It's makai to mauka. Everything inside the aupua is a kuleana. It's the kuleana of mauka makai. Our water has to be at a certain temperature for our taro to grow properly. And then it also is important for the marine life. We go into our streams and we gather our freshwater food. The saltwater fish come in and spawn and go back out. We go out and we go fish to gather our food in our ocean. So it's very important for that, that connectivity between the mountain to our oceans and to our lo'i. So before we were using other people's science and we we're just visually seeing things. We see our water coming down from the waterfalls, but we don't see our water at the lower level streams. And so we couldn't figure out why. We measure pH, salinity, conductivity, oxygen levels in our water, also the volume of water. With this project, we were able to go up and find where the disconnects were so that we could have that volume of water coming down. This is a real big benefit for all of us, especially the taro farmers, to actually do it ourselves, so we can pass it on to our next generation, our kikis. Having our own data is important for our community so that we know what is going on because we've been hurt so many times. For me as an elder, to see our youngins out there made me feel proud. And I looked at them and I told Maya, that's a beautiful thing. It's our people out there measuring water and doing things. We never did have this opportunity to actually test our waters and really know what we're getting. Now that we do have it, we can take it to the next level and uh, start asking deeper questions. What were the different things that happened between then and now to cause our water to change? Because we've seen a lot of change here. <laughs> I pass the baton to them. I'm watching them. I'm listening to them. That's what I want. I want them to have the self-esteem to take the leadership, the Kuliana. So it's working, what I can see, and I'm thankful. This is where I was born and raised, you know, like this is where I grew up. This means everything to me. My number one priority to conserve and protect this, this aina, this land, because I bled, sweat, you know, cried. I am the land, and the land is me, you know. Like, one day when we when our time comes we're gonna to return to the land. <laughs>